Roberto, which of the six issues presented here at the CCAF seminar on food and nutrition security in Lima is the most pressing one for you and why? Well, I believe uh, the scaling of proven action because uh, there are several things out there that can be done, implemented. We need to, to get the low hanging fruits and uh, we need to pass on this to, to farmers to make the difference. What is your organization going to do in that regard? We help design a concept of using contest for, um, for enhancing the quality of the natural resources. Uh, we started by asking farmers to develop uh, maquettes about uh, their communities, how the communities were 30 years ago, how they are now, and how they expected to, do, to be in 30 years time. Uh, and then the idea was uh, to use their uh, blueprints, you know, where they want to go. So based on that and the priorities they, they uh, design, uh, uh, the project started to launch contests towards that goal. Uh, so that's, that's a way of uh, transferring incentives in advance for people to do things. So it was massive changes at the, at the farmer's level in the conservation of natural resources, increasing productivity, increasing access to market. The other experience is in the high plateau of Peru and Bolivia, the center of origin of the potato, uh, which is uh, the recent bee for our center. Uh, we have worked with, uh, first of all, looking now, you know, where uh, they can bring their products to the market if, or if the products is for food security. For instance, potato is very important in the food security of uh, farmers in, in, in the Andes. But uh, food security is not enough. You, you need to, to also generate employment in, 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 in the rural, rural areas. You need to, to give credit to them so they can, uh, uh, timely, timely credit so they can uh, really make the difference and uh, improve productivity, but also link to the market. You need to work, uh, and we have been doing this, working with the schools, with the rural schools, uh, to use uh, teachers to become uh, extension agents because they have accessibility to the households and the credibility. And then uh, by starting working with them in the schools and, and producing uh, horticulture by, by teaching the mothers how, how to better nurture their kids and uh, how to better use all the, the agricultural products. How, how can they manage their environment to, to reduce uh, emissions how can they produce the seeds when they have and when they have an extreme event? How is it actually done? For instance, uh, we work in the uh, last uh, seven years with uh, three thousand households. Uh, those those households uh, have enhanced their their income from less than seven hundred dollars per year to a range of two thousand to fifteen thousand. Uh, with sustainable management, you know, of of, of the uh, of of agriculture, uh, working with NGOs and the private sectors on exporting some of the goods. Uh, for instance, uh, we work on certifying quinoa, organic quinoa, and exporting that, and have uh, traceability back to each farmer's field. Uh, organic uh, potatoes, uh, producing seeds for the lowlands because uh, they are uh, pest and disease free. Uh, uh, S several other uh, ways of enhancing you know, their, their, their nutrition and, and as well as their accessibility to the market. What is your message to whoever is in the way of what you're trying to achieve? We need to work uh, together with uh, farmers. We need to, to bridge the gap between science, you know, conventional science, and traditional science because they are also scientists. You know, we, the researchers, you know, conventional researchers, we need to learn from the way farmers do their business. Uh, we have worked a lot, for instance, on on how farmers use bioindicators to to do the forecast of climates. And we have learned from that, but also we have learned that uh, since the climate is changing, it is more difficult for them to interpret the bioindicators. So by bridging uh, the, the two communities of uh, forecasters, the, the conventional forecasters and, and the traditional forecasters, 
and and if you come into a uh, dialogue, you, you you start talking the same language, you can use the the, the networks for communicating climate to farmers uh, better because. Now you learn who the nodes of uh, the communications uh, networks are, so you can uh, get the message across because the skill of uh, doing forecasts is becoming better and better in, in, in the formalized science. But then also you need to translate that in, and package it into a way that people can use it for making decisions. Now that was a very nice elaboration. What is your key message? Climate change is, is a problem of everyone. Uh, there's no one group that can solve it alone. We need to work together to solve it. Thank you very much.